So let's talk about the Big Buzz Irish Entertainment Awards. Uh, they're taking place on the 26th of August at the Millennium Forum up in Derry Stroke, London Derry. The launch happened recently and I was there along with uh, the gorgeous Natalie. Here's what happened. Every year we do a sort of a round up for money for charities and things like that. And uh, big Trevor Dwyer Lynch, who's a good friend of mine from Coronation Street, said to me, why don't you just do a football match? So this year, not only are we doing the Big Buzz Awards in the Millennium Forum, but we're going to have an uh, 11 a side football match in the Brandywell, where there's going to be 20 celebrities coming from Coronation Street, Hollyoaks, Holby City, you name it, all the soaps, rugby players. So they're all going to be there on the day and joining us that night uh, at the Millennium Forum. We have got an old boy from Derry, Peter Kuna. I'm sure you remember him, Max Dareem, who's going to be there. Um, he's going to have him and his band. Uh, ben Glover, who's going to be entertaining you later on, and the Earls. Um, we've got Four Story, who are going to be coming over from England. Uh, Kezzy Silverstone. There's a whole lineup. Gimmick, uh, uh, there's quite a few other acts that we can't mention right now, but we will announce them later on. The date of this year is Big Buzz Awards. <laughs> It's going to be on Saturday, the 26th of August. As well as that, voting is now opened as well. And um, every year we get so many more and more votes um, onto our website, which is up here. It's uh, bigbuzzireland.com. Of course, uh, the awards are voted for entirely by the general public. And I know last year we had something like over 250,000 uh, votes coming in. So vote for your favourite personalities, your favourite bands. It's been a pleasure for me to be associated with the Big Buzz Awards and it's been going from strength to strength and especially last year for the first time it was held in the Millennium Forum in Derry on a fabulous night and everybody, everybody really enjoyed it and it's been the talk of the town because we don't have much to talk about but it was a wonderful night and everybody's looking forward to it this time and it's a good thing that events like these, big events like these move, move outside the capital to somewhere that really, really appreciates it. Okay, now I'm joined by Barry, one of the organisers of the Big Buzz Awards. So how do you think today went with the launch? Absolutely superb. Yeah, we had a lot of good people here today. Uh, Shane Lynch, I'm sure you've interviewed him. <laughs> he turned up earlier on. Um, yeah, it's been a great day. Great day. So tell us a bit about the awards. Who's going to be performing at it? Well, we've got a whole lineup. There's a few we're not going to mention now at the minute, but we've got uh, Peter Kuna, as I'm sure you remember, uh, Extreme, who's coming over with his new band. Um, we've got the uh, lads here who are going to be performing. Uh, Ben Glover and the Earls, we have got Trinity, we've got uh, Gimmick, Cassie Silverstone, they go on and on. It's going to be a tremendous night. So tell us about some of the awards that are going on then. Um, well, some of the categories, as we say, last year we got over 250,000 votes from the general public. The awards are set up not just for the big bands out there, like your Westlife's or U2's, they're for the up and coming bands as well. And that's what the awards are all about, to support those kind of bands. Uh, but initially the awards are set up to, to support all entertainment, you know, not just music, but TV, radio, comedians, you name it, journalists, the whole lot. Do you think it's important that Ireland does have its own award show then? I think it is important because most countries do have their, their, their similar kind of awards. Um, you know, the, the Big Buzz Awards um, has been classed now as a mini Brits uh, because of the whole setup, the way we actually do the awards. But it's taken, it's been a long road. You know, this is the seventh year of the awards, but they're getting stronger and stronger every year. So, what do you think is making it so successful over the years? It's just, it's a professional, uh, you know, uh, organization that deal with it. You know, we, we look at it in every aspect. Um, there's nothing left toward, you know, everything's taken care of from the celebrities flying over into the province. Um, you know, they go back, you know, we actually get calls from celebrities now where we used to, we'd have to go out hunting them. They're phoning us now at the magazine and saying, is it okay if we come over and present an award? And that's a great thing, you know, and, and that's, you know, because it's a professional, a professional gig. So tell us about, about, a bit about the host this year. Uh, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Oh yes, come on, give us some gossip. <laughs> well, I, I couldn't, I, that's in my memoirs. I'll be writing all about that in a few years' time, yes. <laughs> Keeping that under the hat, so I will. But Jerry, yes, this is the second year, Jerry. Um, and Sean's going to be presenting the awards this year uh, with him. Um, it's a local touch, you know, Jerry's from there. He's a well-known face. And, you know, it's not, it's not all the gorgeous and glitz and glamour. You know, Jerry can carry the show, and that's the main thing. today then? I mean, you know, I love Barry, I love Big Buzz, and anytime I come over here, he's always a hospitable man, makes you feel good, you have a pint of Guinness, 
which ain't nothing like a good Irish pint of Guinness. I've lived in London for about 10 years, so it's always nice to come home. And uh, I'm, a, I'm over here just to literally enjoy myself as I ever do, talk about a little bit of work. We're saying too bad, is he? You know what I mean? Talking about big, big buzz awards and when it's coming up, 26th of uh, which is Saturday of August. I think I've only ever missed one, maybe two. I think that's controversial. Uh, but I've been to most of them anyway. And they've been absolutely amazing. You go from the awards to the party afterwards. And the party, it's not a party like, you know, champagne, everyone, you know, it's, it's, it's comfortable. It's, it's like you're just chatting, it's enjoy, it's sociable. It's like an all night pub event, you know what I mean? Where you just have a great time. So you a bit of a party animal then, Shin? Nope, never was a party animal, never will be. I just find myself going to breakfast straight from the club. And that's not a party animal, that's just having a good time. And you know what, if I do that maybe twice a year, you'd be lucky. Well, certainly, every time you're guaranteed to be at the Buzz Awards. What about, are you a bit of a bad boy then? With these lovely tattoos and everything. Tell us about your tattoos. Um, no, I'm far from a bad boy. I don't I, believe it, I don't believe it. I'll tell you the truth. Every one of these tattoos brought a tear to me eye. I near cried when I had them. I'm, I'm a big wimp, really. All I, I, I enjoy the art for what it is, but I hate having them done. They, they hurt me too much. They really do hurt. So uh, I'm not... I'm not a hard man by all means, I just I enjoy the art. So you're really a big softie, you're saying then? I'm a big L softie, so I am. OK, so we're holding the press launch um, here in Rats today. Ralph is uh, the owner, and I believe we're celebrating a one-year anniversary, aren't we? We are, yes. Uh, first year ended about two weeks ago, and it's been a good year. Now, uh, the name, first of all, tell us about that. Interesting name, Rats, where did it come from? Well, it's actually German, it means counsellor, but we didn't know that when we created it. It's me being Ralph and Tracy, who was a business partner nine years ago and is no longer a part of the business. And Ralph and Tracy stroke off the S and put the Z. We do European food with a lot of Asian influences. My chefs here are Chinese, Spanish, Italian, uh, Indian, all from their own destinations, and I brought them in here to work. And uh, there's not just one Rats restaurant, there's two, I believe, isn't there? There is. The first one originated in Bangor eight years ago and still going strong. Might there be a third, a fourth, a fifth on the way? I'm looking at a third. Across the water. OK, we've been joined now by uh, City Beat superstars. It's Mark and Dave from the morning, and why are you holding a Carol Smiley yummy mummy thing? Because I think she's a yummy mummy. And it just so happens that uh, Yummy Mummy Week's coming up in September. From September the 16th to September the 24th, look at that, Product Yummy knowledge. Mummy Week. When all the Yummy knowledge. Mummies will be getting together and doing Yummy Mummy things with me and Dave, and Dave and me. All right, okay, now back. It's all for Click Sergeant, caring for children with cancer. They're a great bunch of people, they want all your money. Um, we're going to want loads of yummy mummies to come back in the park with us and go in the bushes and treasure hunt. OK, exactly. Now, back to the big buzz awards as to what's going on. There is an award this year, guys, for the best radio breakfast show. Do you think you've got a chance? Oh, Pete's nodding, has it in the bag. Smoke machine, glow sticks. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Haven't we haven't got a mission against them? No chance. See, the thing is, I don't listen to Pete Snodden in the morning because I'm working. Dave's got a lot of free time during the show. Uh, he samples Richard and Ivan, and uh, he listens to your recorded shows that you record for yourself and other people around the building. So, There's to be honest... segment about 10 to 8 where I would switch off, you know what I mean? Otherwise known as Robin Elliott's big brother. So That's the bit where I have to turn you back on again. Yeah, yeah. It's, it gets quite risque. So you tell us, Robin, have we got a chance to win? Have we, have we, have we, have we? Well, I, I, think we'd, we, I think you do have a chance to win, but if we win the award... We're going to have to split it three ways. You realise that? Dear Jeepers. We're going to have a three way? Well, the Why? thing is, you won't have to. You can split it two ways because in my future role as president of Northern Iron, uh, I won't be able to accept any awards unless there's like a free hotel suite up in lovely Derry Stroke, London Derry. So anyway, guys, you want to do a little plea to the people of Belfast to get voting for you at BigBuzzIreland.com? Dave would like the award. I'm not in it for the awards. I'm in it for the money. And that's difficult enough. So and please I'm a vote for big Dave. mantelpiece in my house in BG9. Yeah. And I need stuff to put on it. Please vote for Dave. Otherwise, he'll go and he'll play more golf. He'll bore people senseless. He'll be a hated figure more so than I. Hard to believe, I know. So for the sake of Dave, and for my sake, please, I don't want it, but he does. Tell me this. Do you think that Mark and Dave are going to win? 
top breakfast presenters. <laughs> Well, no, I, I wouldn't know. I couldn't answer that question. Possibly. So tell us a bit about what you've been doing at the minute. Um, I've been writing new songs, getting new stuff together. I've just released my EP there in May in the King's Head. And it's now in all the music shops in Belfast. It's in HMV, Phoenix, Backbeat. Um, and it's selling well. And I've got a few gigs coming up. and. Yeah, just out there gigging at the moment and just getting the CD played on radio and stuff. So watch this space, people, Sarah Lyle is going to be big. <laughs> So there's going to be loads of big star names coming to this year's Big Buzz Irish Entertainment Awards, including some of the stars of Coronation Street, Holby, Hollyoaks, and the likes of Alex Best. There's going to be music as well from Kieran Goss, Peter Kuna from D Ream, and uh, the gorgeous girls from Trinity. And we'll be there with our little cameras, bringing you all the winners and all the losers and all the gossip and all the kind of things that go on behind the scenes.